Welcome to the JDC West uh, 2015 Management Information Systems case presentation. Thank you to our judges, Nick holbuck Sue from AMCO, Brad Zimmer from Federated Cooperatives Limited, Greg Hutch from ISM, Aftab Hamed from Deloitte and Touche, Nancy Smale from Stonefield Systems Group. Competitors will have a maximum of 20 minutes to present. Immediately following the presentation, judges will have five minutes to ask the presenters questions. The volunteer timekeeper will show time cards at various intervals to indicate the remaining time and will stop any speaker who exceeds the maximum time limits. No questions, comments, cell phones, or picture taking will be permitted from the audience at any time. The audience will only be permitted to applaud following the question and answer period. The audience is banned from any material that bears the name or symbol of a competing university. We ask that the audience exit the room immediately following the question and answer period. Competitors, you may begin when you are ready. So hello, Quest Design Executives. My name is Sarah. This is Nick and Mark, and together we make up Edge Consulting. So today what we're going to provide for you is a technological application that will increase the connections between your staff and therefore also increase the prosperity of your company in the future. So Jay Sabato said recently that he's concerned about how we can ensure that nothing falls through the gaps when we implement this new system. So we're going to provide for you today a few options on how to do that. So the outcomes that we want to provide for you today are the strong communication between your staff, greater accessibility of the, of the data within your company, a centralized information location for the, the files that you have come up with so far, and a higher level of control within the company. As you know, a lot of your files are in very various locations. We want to find a way to increase this level of control over these files for you. So there are a number of key issues that we have identified as crucial to solving today. The first is that there's inefficient team collaboration in your organization. This is due to the lack of an integrated information system that allows facilitated collaboration of, of, between your entire team. So it's estimated that five working days are lost per year per employee because employees are spent time searching for emails between themselves and there's no central repository that holds all this information in a dedicated place. Additionally, there's a lack of overall cohesiveness in the communication amongst your team. The other issue we identified is that there's no central database for your information. So currently, there is, um, your information is spread through multiple locations across individual storage systems, um, various emails, so there's no central database that holds all this information. These are the two issues that we will be providing you with a solution on how to solve today. So there are a number of factors that we believe are required for today's resolution. The first is we want to create a central knowledge repository so that we can hold all the information that your company holds. The next is we want to have collaboration amongst the team members to ensure that your teams can work in a much more cohesive and effective manner. Next, we want the employees to be engaged with the system. So the employees are not just, the system's not just in the company, the employees are actively and engaging with it to ensure that it helps the company overall. Lastly, we want to streamline communication procedure to ensure that there's, communication is facilitated across the company and we are not, no longer using multiple channels of communication amongst the team members. So we have three main options provided that we think are the most viable options for you guys. The first is Atla Atlassian. So Atlassian is a very strong communication system. It allows very quick communication and you can use it offline with Zapier. However, it is not as strong it, with team management as the other two provided. The next system is Asana. Asana is a very responsive task management system. So by that, we mean that it is you can personalize it a lot. You can make it look a lot like the Quest Designs website. You can make the system manage quite well. It's very quick to update. It's very fast, and it's also compatible with the Zapier system. But it also does not have the chat features that the other systems have. And the last option is Rike. So Rike is a high-level task management uh, system. Where it differentiates from Asana is the timeline feature. So with Asana, you can assign timeline due dates, but with Rike you can assign the time length that the task should take, what you should be doing at different pro times in the process, and what you can expect to be done at the end. Rike also does not have a conversation system, a chat system, however, there is a comment board under each task where you can tag other, um, other employees and you can get updates from them and ask, and ask for more specified information from that location. So there are a number of criteria that we have identified in being crucial to making this decision. 
The first is data security. So this is important for any new integrated information system. We want to ensure that your data is safe and that it cannot be privy to outsiders. Next is the ease of implementation for the employees. We understand that there's a bit of a time crunch in implementing this new system. Um, you're starting on phase two of your construction project currently, so we want to ensure that this system is easily implemental, implementable in this time frame. Next is the ease of implementation for how long it actually takes us to set up the system. So this is ensuring that the system can be properly installed on your computers and can be used by your employees. Next we have centralized communication. So this ensures that the system we choose actually provides a centralized communication system for your employees. This means that we're not going to be using multiple channels of communication among the employees, but it will all be integrated into this one information system. Next we have system mobility. So as mentioned in the case that your employees like to use um, apps like BBM, WhatsApp, text messages. We want a system that, so this, in, this demonstrates that your employees like to not only use the laptop computers, but also their cell phones. We believe this is an important criteria, so we want to ensure that the system we choose can be used on mobile devices. Next, we have task management. So this was the most important criteria, we believe. This is so that we can ensure that all tasks are completed on time and that all employees can see what they're responsible for when they're completing their tasks and what, they, what needs to be done per employee. Next, we have integration across applications. So as mentioned before, your company currently uses a ton of different applications. Um, you're using email, you're using Excel, you're using a bunch of different files. The system we choose, we want to be able to integrate all these applications into a single system so that we can eliminate all these third-party applications. And lastly, we have cost. Um, this is our least weighted criteria because the cost of this system will be relatively minor compared to the other costs associated with this new project. So the, in the, in, we are given five different options of information systems to choose to facilitate communication. So since we allocated that task management was the most important uh, criteria, we've eliminated Slack, Podio, and Igloo from our decision matrix. This allows an easier decision criteria to be shown, and so these, that is the reason why these three options are not going to be discussed later on. So decision breakdown, just to build on what Nick was saying, we have our decision factors on the side as well as the weight that we assign to each decision. As you can see, task management is the highest weighted um, factor. We rated each application with one, three, or five, one being the worst, five being the best in the cost case, one being the most expensive, and five being the least expensive. So the decision that we have decided to go for is RIC. So there's a strong task, manage task management abilities and the ability to be integrated across many platforms. As Nick was saying, there's many locations where your files are located. And we really want to be able to integrate all these apps together. It's also compatible with Google Drive and other cloud storage systems that we will continue to build on as the presentation goes on. We have three main pillars of our implementation. We have the initiating stage, the implementing, the implementing stage, and the finalizing stage. So, the first stage, the initiation, we want, these are the things that we want, that we believe you should do once you get back to the Quest office right after this. The first is you should purchase and license Reich. Reich is going to cost about $200 up front and licensing it right now allows you to get the wheels in motion for the plan. The next is a training session held for all the employees. Now Reich does offer a service where they will actually go into the office and train employees for you. They do have reps in Vancouver and Alberta. And so they will offer this service and to train the employees at a staff luncheon or whatever you feel would work best. The last is to request from the staff members that they start, that they start gathering all their emails and, and compiling them, all the old emails that they've used. And they start sending those emails to you so you can make a central database on Reich. The next step is the integration step. So for the integration, we think by now what you will have all the emails on file, so you should purchase the Google Drive account and back up all your files through Reich onto Google Drive so that you have a safe storage place for all of them. The next is that you integrate all the files, all the emails of employees, which means so Reich can email comments directly to your account, directly to your employee email. So by in integrating every single employee's email into, the, into Reich, you are able to mesh the Gmail or webmail system that you have with Reich and it'll allow for a quicker transition in the change. And the last is to organize and prioritize the tasks for phase two. Now phase two is a construction stage that you were about to enter. We think that if you can organize all the tasks for, from here on, 
you have a better chance of making sure that this system is integrated properly. And our last step is the finalization. So PM is project manager. So the project manager creates a version of all of their, their current tasks on Reich. This means that they have all their current tasks, they're physically making them on Reich and figuring out what, like, what is done now, what is going to be done the next couple weeks or the next couple months. The next step is that they add their employees onto the task management system. So this means that they're placing each individual employee onto the task that they're applicable for. So marketing, you got your sales managers, you got your sales directors down there, you put all of them into that file. And after that, in the, after the first month of use, we think that you would, that it would be helpful to keep assistance and provide feedback and make sure that they have any questions about Reich, if they have any concerns, they don't understand how the system works, it is said that it is a quite tough system to understand at first, that you have a backup system to make sure that they are comfortable with it and they will continue to be comfortable with it. So a bit on the timeline for this implementation. Um, in the immediately, like Mark said, we want to license and purchase Reich. Uh, we also want to organize the tasks and prioritize. Um, we want to integrate the staff and the email to the Reich application. So like Mark said, your staff have various email applications. We want to put those, get them to put those into the Reich system so that they have all of their information in a central location. Within one month, we, have, we want to have moved all the past online storage to the Google Drive. So like we have touched on, the Google Drive we want to have purchased and then upload all the past information so that you can access that for the future. We next want to have make sure that all employees are trained on using the right system. So if there is any problems, we want to make sure that we address those early as that was a major problem with the previous system that you were using, the Easy Project system. You implemented it within a couple weeks and we really think that the best way to do this next is to really try and make sure that your staff understand how to use the system and provide that assistance so that they can continue using it moving forward. In three months, we want to have a system fully operational. We want to have an online database assembled and assistance provided, as I was just mentioning. So here we have a budget breakdown for how much the system will actually cost you. So first, we have the right licensing fee. So this licensing fee is currently $99 per month. Um, just to note, this budget is for the next year, so all these costs will be over the next year to use these new systems. So like I mentioned, the right license fee is $99 per month. So this equates to $1,188 per year in licensing this new software. Next, we have the Google Drive storage fee. So this is only $24. Google Drive offers around 100 gigabytes of storage at $2 a month. So this, right, this new Reich software unfortunately does not offer much storage in terms of long-term data. Um, we believe that purchasing a Google Drive, purchasing some Google Drive storage is necessary so that your company can begin to store, to, to create an online database for all of your project documents. So this cost is $2 a month to, for 100 gigabytes of storage and $24 in total for the next year. And lastly, we have a Reich training session. So we want to contact Reich and allow them and get them into our offices so that they can better train the staff and teach them how to use this new software. So we've allocated $200 to this to ensure that all of the Reich, to ensure that Reich is, to ensure that the Reich executives do come in and teach our new staff, and teach our staff how to use this new software. So there are a number of risks to using this new software. The first is the, that employees are reluctant to using this new system. So as we have previously mentioned, your, most, your last system, Easy Projects, was not a success with the employees. The employees were not using it and ultimately you had to abandon the system to then go back to emailing and texting them between the employees. So, in this, so we've viewed this as probably the most important risk in adopting this new system. We've advocated that um, there's a moderate likelihood that this will occur and a, high, and a low impact if this occurs. Um, just a small caveat here, right now we'll be addressing these risks and then after we'll be providing mitigation strategies for how to prevent these new risks from occurring. Our second risk is that data security could be compromised if we're using a new system. Um, with any new software, there's always the risk that uh, this data is not secure and that it could be accessed by people who should not have access to this information. We have a moderate, we have a moderate likelihood that this would occur, but a, sorry, there's a low, in, there's a moderate likelihood that this would occur, but this would be a low impact if it actually happened. Lastly, we have communication compromised due to a lack of chat room. So as previously mentioned, Reich does not have a chat room that is easily accessible by all the employees. 
However, it does have project management software. So each project that is um, created in the Reg software, you're allowed to comment, you're allowed to contact other employees on it. So we believe that this can be bypassed. Um, there's a low likelihood that this, that communication would be compromised, and this would have a low impact on the company. So here we have a number of mitigation strategies for the three risks that we previously mentioned. So the first risk is that employees are reluctant to use the new system. So our first strategy for this is that employee training sessions will be held. As previously mentioned in the budget, we have allocated money to ensure that employees are trained in using this new software. This is our first step to ensure that employees are capable of using this new system. Next, Reich has an excellent support system to begin with. So they are easily contactable if employees have questions about using this new software. We want to ensure that all of employees' questions can be answered easily, and Reich does offer this. So this is another way to get around employees not using the system. Lastly, if the all fails, the system implementation could be done at a later date. We understand that your company is very busy right now with, um, with beginning phase two of your construction process. So we believe that if um, all else fails and Reich is not implemental at this time, it can be done at a later date when it will be much easier for your company. Our second risk is that data security could be compromised. So, Reich has two-factor identification, which means that employees are sent out passwords individually, and this, these passwords are only known to them. So, the data in Reich is very um, secure and cannot easily be accessed by others. Additionally, data encryption could be offered for the files that contain the most sensitive information for your company. Our last risk is that communication could be compromised due to a lack of chat. As previously mentioned, projects can be commented upon, so although you can't directly contact employees within the software, um, employees still can, still can comment on their peers' projects and whatnot, so this can be avoided as well. Um, this will also allow separation of personal and professional communication, so we want to try and ensure that all the professional communication about your company's projects is done on break. Any personal communication between your employees can be saved for text messages or email that are not part of the software. So, as previously mentioned, we had a number of factors that we believed were required in order to resolve this scenario. Now that we've implemented Bright and the Google Drive, we have a centralized knowledge repository. So we now have all of your previous contracts information and an ability to store them. Next, we have collaboration among team members. So this ensures that all of, so by using Reich, all of your team members have easier communication and this communication can properly be stored so that it can be accessed later. Third, we want to ensure the employees are engaged with the system. So we've provided a number of strategies to ensure this will happen, including Reich training sessions and the support that Reich offers to all of its clients. And lastly, we want to have a streamlined communication process. So now that employees are no longer be using multiple communications channels to talk about projects, we believe that we have assessed, that we have um, resolved this objective. Back again to the outcomes. So after the implementation of Reich, we now have stronger communication between your team members because there is a streamlined and easy way for them to communicate. That's another thing we want to make sure is that whatever the process is that it is <coughs> to them and that they have the support in order to keep using it for the future so that they don't revert back to previous processes that they were going, that they were going through before. Next is the greater accessibility. So like we have touched on, the fact that you now have files in a central database so you really can find great best practices for the future as well as any documents that would help with new clients and really solving problems faster than you could have before. Like I said, central information, so we have one place to find all the information. And a greater level of control over operations. So like I said before, you have many locations where all your files are. So with this new system, we have, it, we have the ability to be able to find these files and control what is done with them, as well as what is kept and what maybe isn't kept for the future. And to summarize, we now have how this whole um, new system benefits everyone, your customers, learning and growth of the company, the internal processes, and the financials. So for the customers, processes are more efficient, so you finish projects faster than you would have before. Employees are now connected through a centralized system. They are easy, um, easy conversations can be had, and a better understanding of all the current operations. So now this information is available to everyone. If anyone has questions, they can find that information on their own, which takes some weight off the project manager's shoulders, as we do know that they have a lot going on right now. Next is the internal processes. So efficient collaboration among team, team members speeds up um, task completion, a central secure database for all files, and a more effective use of technology than you currently have right now. 
And financials, future prosperity through economic growth, like we touched on in the very beginning. This now brings in clients faster than you would have had before, and really completes these projects that you might not have finished in the same amount of time as you can now. And a better management of operations means less labor hours wasted. So as we said before, right now, five days per person employed are being wasted because of the various technology that you're using and, and how efficient that it, it, it isn't at this time. So with this, your less labor, labor hours are wasted and those resources can be focused somewhere, more, somewhere better in the future. So my, again, my name is Sarah, this is Mark, and Nick. <coughs> together we are Edge Consulting, and we now open the floor to any questions you may have. Thank you. That concludes the presentation. I have five minutes for questions. <coughs> Thank you very much for your presentation. Um, if I understood properly, one of your mitigation strategies on uptake was to defer implementation to a less busy time. And I was interested in your thoughts around how to get through the, the, Tivoli, the initial Tivoli build-out if you were to defer to a later, less busy time to Yeah, absolutely. So the reason why we think you should defer to a, to a less busy time is that right now you are saying that you only have a week until the, new, until the big rush is going to come. Well, regardless, we're not really going to be able to implement a system in that time realistically. So, we, so if we have to implement it in a month, we want to do it right. The reason why the last system, the reason why easy projects did not work was because it was implemented in two weeks, which is too short of a time frame. So we think that if it is more beneficial for you to wait for it to be implemented properly than it is to hastily put it in now and have employees revert to using emails and trying to juggle right in emails and not balancing it properly. Thank you. So building on the same question, um, the team is proposing uh, secure data with, with the WIC system. But at the same time, you're also proposing to put the current data that we have and migrate that onto the, uh, the Google storage. Um, so how do you balance the two when I'm looking at one side, you're insecuring my data, but on the other side, you're securing it with the system? So the Google Drive storage will primarily be used for past projects. So um, we want to stress that this data that we're uploading on here, while it is still important, it's not quite as vital as the information that will be that of the products we're currently working on. So obviously this data still could be, um, people could still be trying to search after this data and trying to access it. But we'll, we believe that the Google Drive will still provide accurate uh, safety technologies to ensure that it is safe. Um, the most secure data will be held on Reich, but everything else that we believe is not quite as important, we can hold on the Google Drive. What's also good to mention about the Google Drive as well is that it is expandable. So right now, you can start at a certain level, and as your company grows and as you need more space for your files, you can subscribe to a larger um, storage capacity. Right now, Reich does have limited storage capacity, so we really want to make sure that we're optimizing where we put which information. Appreciate it. You, uh, you chose Reich as a, as a standalone solution. Can you tell me how um, how that solution of using Reich helps with the efficient communication that I'm still having with different customers and the city council and all those that I assume are through email unless you can handle it? Yeah, so Reich runs something called Zapier, which uh, does integrate all the different communication methods onto the app. So your email, your text messages, your WhatsApp, they will all be integrated into the system itself. So this um, prevents a bunch of like communication through a bunch of different channels. All of your current communication with clients will be um, uploaded and stored onto this new system. Is that an additional cost? That, as another no, it's actually part of the system itself. Okay, thank you. Questions revolve around employee adoption of the system and the overcoming some of the challenges experienced in the first attempt at this with a different system. So I know you said you request the staff to file their emails. Uh, so question one is how would you how would you sort of ensure compliance with that and make sure that they yeah I did it all, you know, like how would you actually know? And secondly I saw in your in your risk analysis that your impact on employees refusing to use the new system was marked as low. And I'm just curious as to around your process of why you thought that was given you know, the complexity you're about to Okay, so the first part of your question, how are we going to motivate them, that's a great question. So the, what we thought was a good solution, we didn't discuss in there, but we using perhaps an employee champion would be it, or an idea like that, like you get an employee on board, you, ask, you get management to ask them if they're willing to help everybody along and hopefully they'll say yes because they want to impress management 
And from there, they'll start motivating the other employees to send their data in. And as to why we set it as low, it, it is an important risk, but we, it's like, it, again, it's compared to the other risks, right? Like data security, your strategies for how you make acquisitions, we thought was in, in ratio much more important than that. But it, they, all the risks that we mentioned are very important risks. And we're not, we, by saying low, we're not understating how important the risk is. And I think what really is, the employees will notice is the fact that um, this, this new system really does help them. Um, they're really, right now they're sending all of their info to their project managers and the time it takes for them to get that info back is really, it's, it's hurting their efficiency as well. So if we really want to, commu to communicate to them how this helps them in the future, then we can definitely um, implement this new system with them and we know that we can have compliance as well.